Welcome to the Dehancer YouTube channel. If you've ever struggled with source formats and fine-tuning them for accurate color grading, this tutorial is for you. Today, we're diving into input and camera profiles. We'll walk you through the step-by-step -step setup in DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, and Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Input and camera profiles define how Dehancer interprets your footage, ensuring accurate colors and seamless integration with your timeline. Let's break it down. First, set up your input source correctly. There are three main types of source formats. Rec. 709, normal contrast footage, no additional transformations are needed. Simply select Rec. 709 in the input source settings. Log and RAW capture a wider dynamic range and require transformation to Rec. 709 before applying Dehancer. You have two options. Option 1. Convert Log RAW to Rec. 709 using LUTs, built-in tools or manual adjustments. Option 2, use Dehancer's built-in camera profiles for precise color matching. For OFX plugin in DaVinci Resolve, if you're using Color Space Transform, CST, or ACES, make sure to select the appropriate output color space before applying Dehancer. Your timeline settings and CST output must align with the input source in Dehancer. In Final Cut Pro, the process is a bit different. It automatically manages color space based on the project's library settings. If your footage is Rec. 709, simply select Rec. 709. If your footage is Log or RAW, apply a camera LUT, either a built-in one in Final Cut Pro, a custom LUT, or a Dehancer camera profile. For HDR footage, Dolby Vision, etc., first use HDR tools to transform it into Rec. 709 SDR, then apply Dehancer. Premiere and After Effects do not have automatic color management, so input conversion must be handled manually. If your footage is log or raw, use Lumetri Color, LUTs or Camera Profiles in Dehancer to achieve Rec. 709 before applying the plugin. For HDR footage, convert it to Rec. 709 using Lumetri HDR tools. If your footage was recorded in Log, you can go to the Input section, open the Source tab and select Choose Camera. This will give you access to a list of preloaded camera models and formats. Some cameras allow shooting in LHG, Flat or Cinetone modes. These have built-in contrast and don't need gamma curve adjustments. In these cases, just select Rec. 709 as the input source in Dehancer. If your video significantly falls out of the Rec. 709 standards, you can use and fine-tune the look using the Film Developer tool. Also, Dehancer provides input corrections to quickly compensate obvious technical issues before applying film emulation. Exposure compensation can be used for the technical correction of the original image when print exposure is rather a creative setting. Temperature and tint compensation. These settings technically work in a similar manner, but in relation to the temperature and tint of the source. Defringe. It helps to deal with the chromatic aberrations visible at the edges that may interfere with some of the Dehancer effects, such as halation and bloom. Four tips to make the most of your input settings in Dehancer. Dehancer's camera profiles aren't the same as factory LUTs. Temperature and tint compensation are better suited for strong deviations of a source, while color head is designed mostly for creative application and more subtle adjustments. 
In some particular cases, defringe may lead to visible halos around the edges in combination with the bloom or halation effects. Lowering the defringe amount and radius settings helps to deal with this issue. Turn off unnecessary CST conversions to ensure accurate color interpretation. Now you know how to set up input and camera profiles and use them to their full potential. Thanks for watching.